Welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel, everybody. In the last episode, oh boy, we had some problems with that duel. That that was probably the longest duel in this entire Let's Play so far. And that was pretty crazy. That was pretty crazy. What the heck? What? I didn't press A again. I only pressed it once. Dude. Oh my god, the slowdown in this game is crazy. It's just like, when, yeah, that was weird. Okay, we're going to go into the Blue Eyes deck and see just how good or not so good this deck actually is. This is what, what it looks like. We'll have to see. I basically spent all my goddamn UR points and SR points to make this deck like this. But I, I think it's going to be pretty good. That, that's my guess. Alright, here we go. We're going to do play with the Blue Eyes deck. Yeah, I like Gaia decks a lot, it's just that I now have to get a bunch of Gaia cards there too, and that's going to be kind of another issue. Uh, mainly, one of the main problems with that deck is that uh, the main Gaia that I'm uh, maining is Charging Gaia. And it's definitely not the best one. Um, Arisen Gaia is better, and Lord Gaia is probably one of the best, aside from Gaia the Magical Knight. So, I don't know, there's some good stuff in there, but... Anyway... The King of D um, basically becomes Lord of D on the field. When it's normal summon, you can discard a spell or trap to add one flute to summoning dragon, the Melody of Awakening Dragon, or Dragon Revival Rhapsody from your deck to your hand. So, I already have one of these, so I don't really need to do that. But this one says discard a card, add up to two dragon monsters with 3,000 or more attack and 2,500 or less defense from your deck to your hand. So, basically this card, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use it. I'm gonna discard. I'm gonna discard the Mirror Force, and we're gonna add one Blue Eyes and one Alternative. I'm not gonna do this in the first turn because there's not really a point. Uh, I'm just gonna set the Sangha and end the turn. It's a very easy first turn. So yeah, that Melody of Awakening Dragon card is so freaking crazy. Oh my god, it's borderline busted in a way because it's essentially. That would go uh, Bingo Machine Go are the two that are like just so good at getting the cards that you need and like that's it, you know? But we'll see what happens here. I'll probably take some damage this turn, that's fine. I don't really care to be honest. We'll see what I can do. So here's uh, Gear Gigant X, okay? You're probably gonna detach to add one, yes you are. Battle Face, oh wow, you're greedy, huh? It worked out for you. Here's a Sangan. We're gonna go ahead and add a copy of. I think we should add a Sage. What? Why can't I? Dude! Can you please let me. So what the hell was that? So that's happened a couple times too, where the game just kind of like stops responding when you're in a menu, like looking at a list of cards. I don't know why. It's another bad thing about the game. Like I was saying in the last episode, this game has gotten a lot of hate. Like visually, it looks cool, but it's having it has it's having a lot of issues. Okay, um, let's see here. So I definitely want to special summon this thing. Uh, what do you have in your graveyard? Perfect. So if I pop this, you won't have a target. Okay, that's good. I can pop that with the effect, but then they can't attack this turn. I can then do trade in. I don't even have to do that. Well, I might want to save the Dark Hole for later, maybe then. Not that I think about it, but we'll see. Oh, man. Okay, we're just going to do it. We're going to special summon Blue Eyes Alternative White Dragon by revealing a Blue Eyes White Dragon in the hand. Put it face up. We're going to activate the effect. We're going to pop that one. Okay. So now, now I can't attack. Now we're going to go ahead and... Um, so this thing has several effects. I like the first effect the most from this card. When you normal summon it, you get to add a tuner, a light tuner from your deck to your hand. Level one light tuner, my bad. Its second effect is you can discard it to target an effect monster you control. You send that one to the graveyard and then you can special summon a blue eyes monster from your deck. So it's pretty cool too because you can bring certain things, like if you get rid of a regular blue eyes, you can bring a, you know, like something else that has an effect instead. I'm going to normal summon it though. Uh, we're going to uh, use the effect, yes. And we're going to add... I'm going to add a white stone... 
Ancients. Okay, next up, going to the extra deck. I did put some stuff in the extra deck. So we're gonna special, we could bring the Blue-Eyed Spirit Dragon onto the field. This card actually is really good and it's what made Blue-Eyes competitive for a couple formats back in, I think it was 2016 or 2017, somewhere there. All right, we're gonna do that. So this card basically says, and I think it has three effects. Um, neither player can special summon two or more monsters at the same time. You could just smell the freaking countering to pendulums. Wow. Once per turn, when the effect of a card in the graveyard is activated, you can negate the activation. So it negates the graveyard effects once per turn. And no no cost. And then lastly, quick effect, you can uh, tribute the Synchro Summon card, special summon a light dragon synchro monster from your extra deck and defense position, except Spirit Dragon. Usually you can do this to go into um, Azurai Silver Dragon, which I will probably mention in a little bit, but for now we're gonna go ahead and do a trade in here. See how much different I am with the deck that I actually know how to use? Oh my god. Okay, uh, we're not doing that now. Are you... Fuck this game's algorithm. Okay. Stupid freaking BS reading the top card of the deck bullshit. Oh my god. What the hell was that game? Okay, I think what I'm gonna do... Because the regular blue eyes is actually in the graveyard, so I think what I can do here... Azurai's, um, if it's special summon until the end of the next turn, neither player can target dragon monsters. Uh, card effects will destroy them. Once per turn during his time phase, you can target one normal monster in your graveyard, special summon it. I wouldn't do anything with the blue eyes alternatives in the hand, though. That's the problem. I think I'm just gonna keep it, to be honest, and end of turn. I could tag out later, because it's a quick effect. So again, I have a once per turn, Graveyard effect negate, and I can also basically tag it out into Azurai's as a quick effect. So we don't need to do that, I think that's fine. Okay. Um, so here's what, you, okay. So you're gonna basically, I have to tag out here, I don't have a choice because you're gonna shrink me, I'm guessing, I'll be down to 1250. If I tag it out, I can go into Azurize and special summon you in defense mode. Right? Wait, wait, actually, hold on. Is it in defense mode? Shit. I didn't read. Wait, special summon. So I can defense position except blue eyes, spirit dragon, but destroy during the empty stuff. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's not exactly how I would want to do it because I still get the protection effect, I think, from Azurize, right? Even though it, go it blows up in the end phase. I'm pretty sure. I believe so. Like, if you're confused, I'll, I'll, I'll explain something once it's my turn. Why are you taking forever again? Oh my god, dude. End your turn. Oh my god. Gotta be kidding me. Gotta be kidding me. End your goddamn turn. You're done. Thank you. Why are these gear good things taking forever? Okay, so... Um... So here's, here's what basically happens. The reason, uh, yes, we're gonna do this. So this is a really good combo, and you'll see why. Um, so Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon's effect, as you just saw at the very end, here's the Blue Eyes coming back. If you synchro into a Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon, and then you tag out and as a quick effect in your opponent's turn to protect it or something, like what I just did, you can tag it into Azurai Silver Dragon because it fulfills the criteria for its effect. In defense mode or attack mode, doesn't, uh, well it has to be in defense mode, my bad, sorry. But, then it says, but destroy it during the end phase of this turn. However, you're like, wait a minute, it didn't get destroyed, why? Because Azurites, when it's special summon, not synchro summon, special summon. If this card said, if this card is synchro summon, this card would be a lot worse, like a lot worse. Because more often than not, you're not synchroing into this, you're special summoning it to tag out from the Blue-Eyed Spirit Dragon. And so if it's special summon, until the end of the next turn, neither player can target dragon monsters you can only control with card effects. Also, they cannot be destroyed by card effects. Azurais is a dragon. It cannot be destroyed by card effects, including the one from Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon, which means it survives the end phase. And then in your standby phase, you get to bring your Blue Eyes White Dragon that you probably just used last turn for the Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon. Unless you use an alternative. 
like me, but I traded in the blue eyes. This deck is, it's crazy. It is crazy. I'm not, it's definitely not competitive nowadays in the year of 2022, nor the last two years or so. But my god, when this thing was meta, it was meta. Like, Jesus. Um, these two are dead, unfortunately, but if I do this, oh, hell yeah. This is where it's at. I haven't even talked about this one, the White Stone of the Ancient. That's another really good card as well. In the end phase, if it's Nagura because it was centered this turn, you can special summon a Blue Eyes from the deck. Or you can also banish it from the graveyard to target a Blue Eyes monster in your graveyard and add it to your hand. So, it's pretty flexible. Usually, I, I do my best to try and leave it there to the end phase so I can actually do some kind of special summoning. Um, but, we'll see. So now that I have this, I can now bring out the alternative. However, the one downside with the alternative is that you can only special summon alternative white dragon once per turn this way. So I can't reveal to special this and then reveal uh, or special summon the other one by revealing again. You can't do that. That would have been freaking busted. Like seriously. However, I can still normal summon this. I can do that for sure. Select an optional. Do I want to do this? Uh. Because I'm only going to add the melody of Awaken. I don't carry the other two cards on my deck. I don't think I need to do this because it's not going to do anything. We're just gonna not going to use it. It's fine. So we can special here into Blue Eyes Twin Burst Dragon. You don't need polymerization for this. Um, uh, it's basically the above cards you send to the graveyard. You can make up the two attacks on monsters during each battle phase. Um, I don't really need to do that because what I'm going to do right now is activate this effect here. To destroy that. I'm also going to put this. So what's funny what's funny about Azerite is that I don't know if you even caught the protection effect, but it says until the end of the next turn, Azerite will special summon in my opponent's last turn. So right now it's the next turn, which means that on this turn, my dragons are still protected from destruction effects and targeting, which means if you have something like a freaking Mirror Forge or something, it's useless. But yeah, that's the main thing. Okay, well, what is this? Oh, you're gonna special summon some stuff, huh? Well, that's cool. Wait, did you have to bring them in attack mode? Well. Uh, yes. We're gonna do 2,000 here, unless you have something else. What are you gonna do? Nothing. Yeah, um... Blue Eyes decks are really fun, in my opinion. Like, they definitely are. Um, but he's basically dead, almost. I mean, he's down to... Could I have won that turn, actually? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure I couldn't have. Yeah, the alternative can't attack because I use the effect, but whatever. Uh, we are... Wait, do I even... Oh, no, I do have... I have the spirit... The spirit, or what's it called? The, this one. Dragon Spirit of White. And when this card is summoned from the deck, because it's always traded as a blue ice card, I can actually banish a spell or trap on the field. So I can banish this thing. Oh, it's a shrink, whatever. Luckily it's the end phase, so I'm gonna get, get my attack immediately after. Cuts down to 15, doesn't matter. It's gonna go back. Yeah, that's kind of the main thing. Um, the main strategy you do with the blue eyes is your 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 primary goal when you start the duel is to try and summon alternative white dragon as soon as possible like as soon as possible because when you do that you get a free pop and you can usually use the card to then go into either a synchro play or an xc's play or something you know something good then when you do that and you know you go into spirit let's say if you can find a way to get the regular blood into the graveyard which is actually usually pretty easy to do then you have the guaranteed protection combo that I just talked about, which is really nice as well. Who are you attacking? You're attacking that one. So this thing has a quick effect, by the way. Now you can tribute this card special to Blue Eyes White Dragon from your hand. I don't need to do that. I'll just take the damage. It's fine. But yeah, you can usually do the combo, you know, to protect Azerize, bring the Blue Eyes in the standby phase, and you have t uh, a level eight and level nine. You can then do more plays like that the next turn. The deck goes off extraordinarily well, and it's very consistent. Like, insanely consistent. Okay, we're gonna do... The effect. Pop a card. And that's basically... I didn't even read your effect. You got something? You do have something. Yeah, 
There we go. Uh, enter battle, and that should be it right there. But yeah. The other thing that's just really good about Blue Eyes cards is that a lot of them either have 2500 attack or 3000 attack, which just adds, you know, more value to the deck. It'd be one thing if this deck was composed of boss monsters with like 2200 attack. It wouldn't be nearly as useful because it can at least be attacked over. The fact that Blue Eyes cards, especially the 3000 ones, have 3000 attack, like, just naturally, it just makes them better, you know? Here we go, another scenario. The large Warigana Wari army led by Dr. Garrick presented Girgiano and the others with quite a struggle. Various Girgiannas were wrecked, and even the ever-reliable Gear Dragon X was on the brink of powering down into the drip drop and output. Will the Gears of Justice be defeated before the Gears of Evil? Will the rotation speed of the Gears of Justice inferior to that of the Gears of Evil? It could be that they were out of gas and the pressure was too great. Just as all hopes seem lost, a, gi a gigantic carrier trailing smoke rushes to the scene. Gears of Justice, it is now complete. All holler, three Girgiano shout in unison. Gear get change. At that moment, a gi gigant carrier emits a great noise, separating, then merging with Gear Giant X. Feast your eyes on this, a top level elite gear unit. The ultimate gear weapon, Gears United. Gear Gear, gear Giant XG, powered by three Gear Giano. Gear Giano. Gear Gear, gear. Giant XG's power was tremendous, quickly dispatching the hordes of War of Giano. However, Dr. Gear suddenly disappeared without a trace. Dr. Geirk will surely strike again, but no matter how many times he returns, Professor Kuroso and the Gear Warriors will surely prevail. Fight, Girgiano. Never give up. Gear Gear, gear Gigant X. G. Oh my god, that was a freaking roller coaster of words. That was some of the weirdest lore so far, but hey, we did it. We freaking did it. We get another structure deck for doing this, right? Or something? Wait, did we? No, we got something else unlocked instead. Okay. Well, we're gonna go back now. We are going to do... Oh, new gate options? Cool. Next one is... What the hell? Digital bugs. So there's Dino Mist. Oh my god. Time to do digital bugs. Here we go. I do not know how to play this deck. Like, at all. Great. Great. Another scenario. Here we go. digital bugs in cyberspace. The rapid progress of cyber networks has brought great benefits to humanity. They are now an integral part of our lives. However, that rapid progress and change left several minor bugs in the corners of the network. Initially, they were just meaningless data with little impact. However, the bugs accumulated data progressively learned over time. And by the time we noticed, they'd taken on the appearance of insects. Experts theorize that the primary objectives are proliferation and evolution. Despite their differing qualities, the peculiar thing is that they act as if they were one species with a singular purpose. In our world, we observe a symbiotic whoa, relationship between ants and aphids, in which ants drive away ladybugs and aphids' natural enemy to obtain nectar from the aphids. However, ants and aphids are different species whose objectives don't align. Might it be that the bugs were born of a singular datum? and only because their appearance differ, are they assumed to be different species? It will take some time to get to the bottom of this. In any case, we cannot overlook the bugs spreading throughout the network. Network administration, sorry, administrators have come to refer to these defects who have achieved rapid growth and evolution as digital bugs. Henceforth, they've taken action to exterminate these defects. Okay, that was... Alright. Cool. Howling Insect. That's, a, that's not a bad insect card, I suppose. For back in the old days. Time for practice. Here we go. Here we go. Let's see. By actually summoning insect type XC's monsters with digital bug monsters as their materials, you can grant them a range of effects. This deck also allows you to change levels and further stack materials. Okay. 
Well, here we go. You set a card? Really? Really? That's what I get. Digital bug webs. These effects are so long. I'm reading paragraphs. And they probably don't even do that much, despite them saying so much. Because I, I know these. this is one of the... Probably, I always see that it's one of the like the least represented archetypes ever or something. I don't know. Okay, so we're gonna summon Web Soldier. Um, can't be used except for insect type monster. Okay, once per turn you can target a face up attack position monster you control, change the defense position, and if you do special summon one level three insect type monster from your hand in defense position. Okay, that's an instant uh, rank three because you can target itself. I, I see the play there. An Axie Summon, oh, that was a uh, discard. Axie Summon, the defensive office of monsters you're pointing at, it becomes zero, also change the. That's not bad. This is basically an instant rank three. Um, you go like this, you use the effect. Target itself, change it. Special Summon to level three. Go into a rank three. Change all monsters you're pointing controls to defense and with zero defense. That's not bad, that's not bad, okay. I, I see the play right there, you know. Yeah, we do have a ring three, that's good. All right. Scar Radiator, or Scar Radiator, I think, yeah. And then we can just attack directly. Uh, let's see what this one says. Uh, once per turn during either player's turn, you can detach two. Target a monster your opponent controls, change out of position. If you do, it has its back once per turn. When this creates this monster by battle, you can detach it. Uh, okay, cool. So, it's not really going to do anything. Right now, at least. Activate the effect. This one is a quick play. It says, target an insect Xyz monster control spell summon from your extra deck one insect monster that is two ranks higher than or lower than the monster you control. By using it as X's material, uh huh. You can okay. I see. So we're gonna do either a rank one or a rank five by using this as material. What do we have? We have this five. Corb Corbage. To have at least twenty two hundred attack. Yep. All right, there we go. We did it. We so did it. So now we're gonna move on to the regular duel. Right over here. Yeah, we'll do the loner deck first. Oh my god. All right, so I'm gonna learn digital bugs. Oh great. Let's see how this goes, right? Let's just see how this goes. Okay, I got a Raigeki at least, and stumbling, really? Are we doing some kind of weird stalling? Okay, going into an instant ring three right away. Electromagnetic Bagworm? I know that card. What the hell? Well then. We've got a Foolish Burial. Hold on, let me read the Bagworm. Oh wait, no, they're over here. What the hell am I doing? Um, how do I... What was I say? Oh. No, 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 didn't you just... How do you... There we go, okay. Target a machine monster, you want to control, see control, uh... Oh god, okay. Just wanted to see what it does. So, stumbling is, um... It's a, f a floodgate, I guess you can say. Any monster that's summoned is changed to defense position, which means you can't change it that turn, so it can't attack that turn, essentially. Um... This is very awkward, um, because... This is, okay, so that's a quick effect. You can detach two, target a monster, change out of position, that's effects negated, once per turn, when this card starts upon this altar at battle. Should I just write Geki this shit? Oh my god. 
So I have Galaxy Worm. When it's normal summon, we control another monster. You can spend summon a level 3 or lower Galaxy effect monster from your deck, but negate its effects. Okay. Um, once per turn of this card is an attack position, you can target one level 3 insect type monster in your graveyard. That wouldn't really do anything. At least not right now. Once per turn, when this face of card is changed from attack position to defense position, you can select one insect type monster from your deck. And, oh, sorry, you can special summon. Okay, this card can attack all the defense monsters. But the issue still is that I... Uh, hmm, okay, I'm going to use Foolish Real because I have to see what I can get. I don't know what graveyard effects I have in this deck. Maxi is in this deck. Whoa, that is a really good card. Okay. Um, so... Trying to see. This is... Uh, wait, that's the one. Once we're done with this face of the card to change. Okay, that's one I just got. Here's the web solder one. What do I want to put in the graveyard? I mean, I can add using another effect if I really wanted to do that. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I guess just any of them. I don't think it matters too much. I'm going to send this one. And so if I go into a three, I really have to see my options here, what I have. That's okay. I know Giga Brilliant, that's a very basic Xyz monster. Um, if the battle position of this card is changed, you can throw someone into a monster from your grand or graveyard in defense position. When a monster on the field activates its effect, you can detach one material from this card, then target that monster and negate its effects to make one insect monster on the field either gain 500 defense or change its battle position. Okay, um, I may want to go for this. That one's two level three. Two level three monsters. Okay, let, let's try to go for that one, I suppose. Um, so we're going to do this. We control no other monsters. with another level three lower. Uh, okay. They are both level three, so we'll do that. That's fine. I don't care. Because what's funny is that I'm going to get the effect right away, which is hilarious. No, I'm not. Okay, so I'll have to write Gekki here. Um, I didn't really have a choice then. I guess. Actually, should, should I sacrifice the... You know what? Here's what I'm going to do. I, I got a good plan here. I'm going to just pass the turn, believe it or not. And I'm going to just let you commit to the board so I can get more value from my Gekki in exchange for me losing more life points. I'll just do that. Well, you, dude, set something. Oh my god. Thank you. Yes, yes, yes. You set something. Okay. Good. Now I get a two for one. You steal my car, but who cares? Because you're about to get right Gekki. How do I get rid of Stumbling, though? That's really... Okay, thank god I do that card. It's actually really good to draw that. We're going to do right Gekki here to blow up that card. Blow up your whole freaking board. That way you don't negate me. Then we're going to normal summon Galaxy Worm. We're going to go into the fence, activate the effect. By special summoning another copy of itself. There we go. Summon you. Okay, now they both go into the fence. That's fine. We're going to go here. I'm going to bring... I think I should bring that one. Um, because it's going to go into the fence. And this one, as you can probably see... Actually, wait. This one... That only gains you attack. You can spell summon an insect monster from your hand or graveyard in defense position. When a monster in the field activates effect, you can... Okay, yeah, we're going to do this. Because it'll go into defense. Um, I'm going to put you in attack so it can go into defense right away. By stumbling, use the effect to spell summon an, an insect from the graveyard. There we go. Um, no, we're not going to do that. Okay. So which one do I want? Once per turn, this card is in attack position. You can target... No, it's not going to work. Once per turn, when this face of card is changed from attack to defense, put someone to level 3. That monster from your deck. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to have to do that, I think. Um, 3 and 6 from your... I think this one... Yeah. That way, I get to use the effect... Um, 
Oh wait, no, no, I don't. It summons it in defense, right? Yeah, it does. Oh shit, that's fine. I didn't really have a play to be honest. What, what can I do here? Two or more level five light insect type monsters. You can also, oh, I see by that one. Can use that XCs, whatever. Once per turn, you can detach one target defense of the monster opponent. Control shuffle into the deck. Once per turn, to this battle position on this card. Oh, it's of a monster in the field has changed. You can attach. Um, I think we're just gonna end it like this. There's not really much I can do here, but maybe next turn I can do something. I don't know. At least you only have two cards in your hand, three when you draw. So you don't have too much to work with. Here comes the thinking again. Oh my god. Oh look, it's the same one. You're going to defense. So you do get an instant ring three from this. But I get to negate its effect. Now uh, you can detach one, uh, and target it, and negate its effects to make one insect monster in the field either gain 500 defense or change its battle position. Okay, I think what I'm gonna do, do I really, okay, I'm gonna do this. What if I change its battle? Okay, we'll do that, detach. Alright, so we're going to select this one. Yes. And you're negated. Awesome. Okay. Bug Emergency. So I can change that one to Defense. Um, it's supposed to be an insect monster in the hand or a grave defense position. That's going to be another thing I can do. So I can change this one into defense. Activate the effect. Uh, does this summon in... In defense, okay. So, uh, no, we're not doing that. We're going to bring out... I don't think it matters because I can't change the one that I bring out anyway. We'll just do this, I guess. That, that's fine, sure. Okay. Next up is, let's see. I can do this one to change its battle position. Special summon an insect from a hand or a graveyard in defense. I could do that. Might be a good idea to do so. Um, actually, yes, that would be a really good idea to do so because I could actually really up my board here a lot by doing this. Here's what I can do. We're gonna change this to attack. From the graveyard, I'm gonna bring out. Uh, no, 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 not that. We'll do. It's gonna come in defense, so it doesn't really matter, to be honest. So we'll just do that. No, I did, I did it. I meant the other one. It's fine, it's fine. Who cares? Who gives a shit? Like, really, who cares? We're gonna bring out this one. Use you and you, because those things can't change. We're gonna bring out Giga Brilliant. Giga Brilliant basically gives you attack, which is really nice. He gives your entire board 300 attack per detachment. Yeah, that's fine. Oh my god. Wait a minute. You can detach one, all face up. Monster. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right, because it's because of the, uh, the influence. They call it influence. It'd be these. They have effects. It gains a thousand. Yeah, okay. Uh, we're gonna use the effect here. Detach one to gain 300 for everybody. We're gonna put you. Oh no, well, we can't change you into attack. Because that's the one that we. Wait, really? I thought that was the one that we did the other turn. Well, no, I don't think so. I don't think so. Uh, let's see. Target two spells summon them, but they're effective to get it. You can banish this card and one exit monster from your graveyard. Then, okay, so that's actually pretty good for later turns, of course. So that means we're gonna enter battle. I can't attack. I really thought I could have. How did I bring that card? I totally forgot how I brought it out. Well, at least you are down to very few cards, so that's good. That's very good. Let's see here. Oh, Greta, her sirens in the background. Wonderful. 
Okay, so there's a stumbling that's gonna activate, it's gonna make you go into defense. And phase, that's it? Okay. That's what I draw. Twin Twister, that's actually perfect. We're just gonna activate it, to be honest. Let's do it. We're gonna discard the stumbling that I don't need, that I clearly don't need. But here's what's funny, do I actually want to leave it? No, no. Because, like, it'd be funny to do it so I leave it because all these monsters that I have now are unaffected by stumbling since they've already been summoned in a turn before. God damn it. He got me. Um, I don't think this matters. You can banish this card in one next to the monster when you get the levels of all level 3 answer monsters come under control. Yeah, I really don't, I really don't think it matters because I don't get any, like, value off of these effects. I'll just do it though, just for fun. Because I think it's supposed to be like, um... Like Call the Haunted and stuff like that. I'm pretty sure. Oh no, actually... No, it, it doesn't. It doesn't. So why did I... Okay. I guess that's fine. It does actually work. So we're gonna do this now. And go into... Two or more level 3 light insect type monsters. We're gonna use... Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Change to attack. Change to attack. Yeah, that's game right there. We're gonna do this. We're gonna use this one. Plus this one. Oh, uh, that's it. So that one you can use more materials if you want to, but I don't want to do that. Okay, this effect is once per turn you can detach two, then target a monster when it comes to battle position. And if you do, it has effects negated once per turn. Okay, I guess I can do that to do some more battle damage. Like, it's not really a problem, I don't think. I can also change this, but I don't really need to. Um, you can special summon. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't be able to do that actually, so. I don't think it matters. We'll do this. Detach. Okay. Uh, you can attach that. I don't think I need to do that. Well, we're going to use the effect here to detach too. Change that one to attack. Then we're going to enter battle here. We'll attack with you so we can attach it right away. Oh, and I get to draw because of the XC summon effect, by the way. This is Pot of Prosperity. Isn't this that one that is like a ridiculous amount of money? I'm pretty sure it is. Let me read it. Banish three or six of your choice from your extra deck face down. For the rest of this turn, if this card results, any damage your opponent takes is half. Also, excavate cards from the top of your deck equal to the number of cards banished. Add one excavated card to your hand. Place the rest in the bottom of the deck in any order. Damn. So, basically, like, if you banish six, let's say, opponent takes half battle damage, you excavate six, and then you get to add one. So it's not even a draw two, unlike other cards, but the punishment, some people would say, it's it's less bad because you get to choose the ones that you want to, you know? Unlike other cards, it's like banish three or six random ones, you know? Alright, well there we go. That's going to be it for this episode too. We're making some progress very slowly, but we're doing it. So before I end this video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications if you enjoyed the video. I will see you all later. Bye-bye everyone. Have a great day.